Ravi Shankar born the 13th of May 1956 is an Indian spiritual leader. He is frequently referred to as Shri Shri honorific or as Guruji or Gurudev. He founded the Art of Living Foundation in 1981, a volunteer-based NGO providing social support to the people. In 1997, he established a Geneva-based charity, the International Association for Human Values, an NGO that engages in relief work and rural development and aims to foster shared global values. Life Ravi Shankar was born in Papanasam, Tamil Nadu, to Vasalakshi Ratnam and R. S. Venkat Ratnam. He was named Ravi, a common Indian name which means son, because his birth was on a Sunday, and Shankar, after the 8th century Hindu saint, Adi Shankara, whose birthday was the same day as Ravi Shankar. Ravi Shankar's first teacher was Sudhakar Chaturvedi, an Indian Vedic scholar and a close associate of Mahatma Gandhi. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree from the St. Joseph's College of Bangalore University. After graduation, Shankar travelled with his second teacher, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, giving talks and arranging conferences on Vedic science, and setting up transcendental meditation and Ayurveda centres. In the 1980s, Shankar initiated a series of practical and experiential courses in spirituality around the globe. He says that his rhythmic breathing practice, Sudarshan Kriya, came to him in 1982 like a poem, an inspiration." After a ten-day period of silence on the banks of the Bhadra River in Shimoga, in the state of Karnataka, adding, I learned it and started teaching it. In 1983, Shankar held the first Art of Living course in Switzerland. In 1986, he traveled to Apple Valley, California in the U.S. to conduct the first course to be held in North America. Philosophy and teachings Spirituality Shankar believes spirituality is that which enhances human values such as love, compassion and enthusiasm. It is not limited to any one religion or culture. Hence it is open to all people. He feels the spiritual bond we share as part of the human family is more prominent than nationality, gender, religion, profession, or other identities that separate us. According to him, science and spirituality are linked and compatible, both springing from the urge to know. The question, Who am I? leads to spirituality, the question, What is this? leads to science. Emphasizing that joy is only available in the present moment, his stated vision is to create a world free of stress and violence. His programs are said to offer practical tools to help accomplish this. He sees breath as the link between body and mind, and a tool to relax the mind, emphasizing the importance of both meditation, spiritual practice and service to others. In his view, truth is spherical rather than linear, so it has to be contradictory. Sudarshan <inaudible> Kriya <inaudible> Sudarshan Kriya, Sanskrit, Sudarsana Kriya, Sudarsana Kriya is a breathing-based technique that is a core component of the art of living courses and trauma relief programs. It involves Ujjayi breathing and Bhastrika in Varasana followed by rhythmic breathing in Sukhasana. A number of medical studies on its preparatory practices have been published in international peer-reviewed journals. A range of mental and physical benefits are reported in these studies, including reduced levels of stress, reduced cortisol, the stress hormone improved immune system relief from anxiety and depression mild moderate and severe increased antioxidant protection and enhanced brain function increased mental focus calmness and recovery from stressful stimuli among other findings topic <laughs> peace and humanitarian work Pakistan He visited Pakistan in 2004 on a goodwill mission, and again in 2012 when he inaugurated Art of Living Centers in Islamabad and Karachi. The Islamabad center was burned down by armed men in March 2014. 
Topic: <inaudible> Iraq. During his visits to Iraq, at the invitation of Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki, in 2007 and again in 2008, he met with political and religious leaders to promote global peace. In November 2014, Ravi Shankar visited the relief camps in Erbil, Iraq. He also hosted a conference to address the dire condition of Yazidis and other non-Muslims in the region. Topic: <inaudible> Colombia and Fock. Ravi Shankar brokered the peace deal between the Colombian government and the guerrilla movement Fock during his visit to Cuba in June 2015. The FARC agreed to follow the Gandhian principle of non-violence to attain its political objectives and social justice. Kashmir, India The South Asian Forum for Peace was launched in November 2016 at a conference titled, Kashmir Back to Paradise, in Jammu. According to Ravi Shankar, 90% of people in Kashmir want peace but are neglected. He added, The solution to the Kashmir problem can only come from the Kashmiris. This forum would bring together eight South Asian countries to cooperate and work in areas such as entrepreneurship, skill development, cultural exchange, educational partnerships and women empowerment initiatives among others. Northeast India 68 militants from 11 militant outfits surrendered to the government in Manipur on the eve of India's 71st Independence Day in August 2017. The Chief Minister of Manipur, N. Biran Singh, lauded Ravi Shankar for his efforts in making this happen and bringing peace in troubled areas. Ravi Shankar's organization has been working in Manipur for the last 15 years. In September 2017, at the Strength in Diversity, Northeast Indigenous Peoples Conference. Ravi Shankar claimed that another 500 militants were waiting to lay down weapons and join the peace process. The conference was attended by representatives from 67 rebel outfits from the Northeast. Expressing his willingness to facilitate the peaceful transition of any rebel group wanting to join the mainstream, Ravi Shankar claimed that his organization has been working for this for the last 10 to 12 years and will continue to work until the last gun is laid down. Former ULFA General Secretary, Anup Chetia, who was also the convener of the conference, appreciated Ravi Shankar's interest and efforts for peace in the region. Ayodhya Ram Temple Dispute, India Ravi Shankar's efforts at mediation in the Ayodhya dispute in 2017 received a mixed response from both Hindu and Muslim leaders. Based on Supreme Court of India's suggestion for an out-of-court settlement, he proposed a mutual compromise where both communities gift neighboring pieces of land to each other. This proposal was met with a lot of skepticism and resistance. Interfaith dialogue Ravi Shankar is involved in interfaith dialogue and currently sits on the board of world religious leaders for the Elijah Interfaith Institute. Through interfaith summits in 2008 and 2010, he has been engaging faith-based leaders for collective action against HIV. In July 2013 at a meeting in UNAID's headquarters in Geneva, issues including HIV prevention, gender-based violence, stigma and discrimination were discussed. Prison program In 1992, he started a prison program to rehabilitate prison inmates and help them reintegrate into society. Awards and recognition Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian award, January 2016 Dr. Najendra Singh International Peace Award, India, November 2016 Peru's highest award, Medalla de la Integration en el Grado de Gran Oficial, Grand Officer Colombia's highest civilian award Orden de la Democracia Simón Bolívar
Gandhi, King, Akeda Community Builders Prize Highest Civilian Award, National Order of Merito de Comuneros, Paraguay, 13 September 2012 Illustrious Citizen by the Paraguayan Municipality, 12 September 2012 Illustrious Guest of the City of Asuncion, Paraguay, 12 September 2012 Tiradentes Medal, the highest honor from Rio de Janeiro State, Brazil, 3 September 2012 The Sivananda World Peace Award, Sivananda Foundation, South Africa, 26 August 2012 Crans Montana Forum Award, Brussels, 24 June 2011 Culture in Balance Award, World Culture Forum, Dresden, Germany, 10 October 2009 Phoenix Award, Atlanta, USA, 2008 Honorary Citizenship and Goodwill Ambassador, Houston, USA, 2008 Proclamation of Commendation, New Jersey, USA, 2008 San Sri Dnyaneshwara World Peace Prize, Pune, India, the 11th of January 2007. Order of the Pole Star, Mongolia, 2006. Bharat Shiromani Award, New Delhi, India, 2005. Honorary doctorates from Universidad Autónoma de Asunción of Paraguay, Buenos Aires University, Argentina, Siglo XXI University Campus, Córdoba, Argentina, Nyenrode Business University, Netherlands, Gyan Vihar University, Jaipur, Kuvampu University, India. In 2009, Shankar was named by Forbes magazine as the fifth most powerful leader in India. Topic criticism In 2012, Ravi Shankar, while attending a function in Jaipur, claimed that some Indian government schools are breeding grounds for Naxalism, a movement of militant communist groups in India declared to be terrorist organizations. All government schools and colleges should be privatized. The government should not run any school. It's often found that children from government schools get into Naxalism and violence. Children from private schools don't get into this, he was quoted as saying by media reports. Later, Shankar issued a clarification that he didn't mean that all government schools breed Naxalism. More clarification followed on his Twitter account, I specifically referred to sick government schools in Naxal-affected areas. Many who have turned to Naxalism have come from these schools. I did not say all GOVT schools where Locke's study breed Naxalism. Great talents have emerged from these schools and I would never generalize. In March 2018, he faced criticism from political leaders for his commentary, where he said, India will turn into Syria if the Ram Temple issue is not resolved soon. <laughs> Books An Intimate Note to the Sincere Seeker, Volume 1, ISBN 1-885289-29-4, Volume 2, ISBN 1-885289-30-8, Volume 3, ISBN 1-885289-33-2, Volume 4, ISBN 1-885289-36-7, Volume 5, ISBN 1-885289-38, 3, Volume. 6, ISBN 1-885289-40-5, Volume 7, ISBN 1-885289-41-3, Buddha, Manifestation of Silence, ISBN 81-89291-91-2. 1999 Be a Witness, The Wisdom of the Upanishads, 106 pp. ISBN 81-7621-063-3 2000 God Loves Fun, 138 pp. ISBN 1-885289-05-7 2001 Celebrating Silence, Excerpts from Five Years of Weekly Knowledge 1995-2000, 206 pp. ISBN 1-885289-39-1 Celebrating Love ISBN 1-885289-42-1 2005 Narada Bhakti Sutra, 129 pp. 
ISBN 81-7811-029-6 Hinduism and Islam, The Common Thread, 34 pp. 2002 Secrets of Relationships, Arctos, 2014 Patanjali Yoga Sutras, Arctos, 2014 Ashtavakra Gita, 2010, ISBN 9380592833 Management Mantras, Arctos, 2014 Know Your Child, The Art of Raising Children, Arctos, 2014 equals equals notes <laughs>